chapter, we're going to be taking a look at custom post types and custom taxonomies. And this can give you a great deal of power when working with an actual CMS. WordPress now has the ability to function as a full-on CMS. If we take a look at the WordPress codex, we can see that there are five major types of post types. The one you're most familiar with, a post, and then a page. An attachment would be a special type of post, usually for media. Revisions is what saves the history of all of your posts. And then there's nav menus. But where the real power lies in is creating your own custom post types. For example, let's say you were building a website like imdb.com. If you're not familiar with this website, it's an internet movie database. We're going to be building an extremely slimmed down version of a taxonomy for this sort of thing. So for example, we can access information about movies. So each movie has a description, a rating, and then a list of actors. If you click on each actor, it'll contain information about that particular actor as well as all of the movies that that actor is associated with. We can create this kind of functionality using a custom post type. Or for another example, consider Tuts Plus where you're reading right now. We use a handful of custom post types. We have the standard post media links and pages, but then if we come down, we have a custom post type for tutorials, our courses, lessons, and eBooks. So for example, think if we were uploading an eBook using the standard post type would not work because think of all the additional information we would need to have. Uh, what is the format available? Is it available for print? Is it EPUB? How many pages are in it? What is the genre? Things of that nature. Let's come and take a look. If I add a new ebook and we scroll down, you can see it looks mostly similar. We have a title, we have the editor, but then we have this additional meta box. And now we can have special icons. We can set a preview image, preview videos, uh, the publisher, the number of pages, this provides us with so much more flexibility because we can then specify all of these parameters and then they're available to us. So that's what we're going to do in this chapter. We're going to build our own custom post type for a very small movie database on our blog.